<laughs> Hello friends and welcome to another video here today at the library. I am showing you another fun crap from our Bugs and Birds kit for summer reading. In your kit you will have received a gallon sized bag filled with some craft items. So in your kit there is two pieces of cardstock. One uh, paper has half of a printed bird, and the other half and then some wings on the other sheet and then you have one smoothie straw and then one paper straw. So the first step with this craft is you are going to design your own bird. If you want to observe some birds outside your house or home, you can uh, base your bird off of some birds maybe you see in your yard. You can also go online and find pictures of birds that maybe you like or you can invent your own bird. Maybe your bird has polka dots or spotted wings or rainbow wings. Whatever you want to design your bird, you're going to design. Um, one thing I will mention is whatever you do on one side of your bird, you're going to want to do on the other. So I already went and designed and colored my bird. Um, so I'm going to show you that in a minute. Um, then after you color your bird, you're going to cut out uh, both your birds and then your wings. So I'm going to set this stuff aside. So I based my bird off of the blue jay. So. I did that and as you can see whatever I colored on this side I colored on this side and then I also colored some fun wings to go along with that so to get started I'm gonna go ahead and first glue these two guys together match up beak to beak I think is the best way to make sure both sides are matched up and then smooth it out really well so now I got both, both my birds together, just like that. The next step, I am going to tape or glue my wings to my bird like this. So I'm going to go ahead, I think I'm going to actually use um, a glue stick. So for this craft, you will need some clear tape um, and a glue stick or some Elmer's glue or, or school glue at home. So I, as you can see, um, after I colored this, I folded my wings in half like that. And then there's some little dotted lines and you fold those up back and forth like that on each side. And then when you're ready to glue them together, you put your bird, those, those creases are there. So then I can stick my bird right in there and I can go up like that slide them on and then I'm just pinching this right here where I put the glue you don't need glue anywhere else but on the belly so I pinched right there and glued it on like that so there now we have our bird who's ready to fly next we are going to cut our straws to attach to our bird so the first straw your paper straw you're just gonna make a little bit of a little bitty slit so probably just the top of your pinky of a grown-up's pinky like just probably about that long or about a centimeter down on each side you're gonna cut a little slit like that and then I'm going to go and slide it on here just like that and then I'm gonna go ahead and use some tape just to reinforce this make sure it stays on there Flip on the other side put a little tape down so there and our bird is attached on there the next step so with your smoothie straw we're gonna want what we're gonna want to do is we're gonna cut about a third of the smoothie straw away so about about two inches we're gonna go like that you can just toss this or use it for another craft. You're not gonna need it. And then once you have this straw cut, you are going to cut about a third of the way down. You're gonna cut a slit on each side. And this is how we're gonna make our bird wings flap. So about a third of the way down. So I did one side. So now I'm gonna come on the other side and cut down that way. There we go. So I got my, got that like that. 
The next step, I'm going to slide this up my straw and I'm gonna find my wings like this. A little difficult the first time. There we go. So I've slid, slid that up the straw and as you can see, it's all the way to the bottom of the bird's belly. My next step, I'm going to kind of flatten this out and I'm gonna tape right here to the wing. I'm gonna do that on the other side. So I'm gonna kind of squoosh it down and tape it. And now our bird is ready to fly. So to make your bird fly, you can you push your paper straw up and then you pull it back down and then you got a flying bird craft just like that so if you want to show us your bird craft please share with us on facebook or instagram or send us an email you can email us, email grace at pspl.org. I'd love to see your flying bird crafts. And we hope you have a wonderful day and have a fun summer out there having fun. We'll see you soon. Bye.